Hey everyone, Houston Math Prep here going over the most common bases you will see for logarithms. Our most common bases will see our base 10 and base E. Remember that E is a number that's about 2.7-ish. Um, these are the most common ones that we see. They're the most common ones that you'll have a button for on a scientific or graphing calculator. So when we say base 10 for a logarithm, we're actually talking about log base 10 of x, and base E logarithm, we're talking about log base E of x. These being the most common logarithms, we actually write them a bit differently than we write other logarithms. Log base 10 of x is actually most commonly written without the base just as log of x. So when you see log of x written, you can assume that the base is 10. Log base e of x is more commonly written as the ln of x, and that's just telling us that it's the natural log of x, which goes with the natural exponential. So a log of x, then we'll think of as log base 10. ln of x, we'll think of as log with a base of e. Just looking through some of these, log of 1,000, we can assume that there's a base of 10 here since no base is written. 10 to what power gives us 1,000? Well, we just simply count the zeros, and we would say that this is 10 to the third. Log of 100, again, assuming base 10 here. 10 to what power gives us 100? We count the zeros, and we get the answer is 2. 10 to what power here gives us a million, right? Log of a million, we're assuming base 10 then. 10 to what power gives us a million, counting the zeros gives us 6. Here, log base 10 of 100 million, so maybe it helps you to do a little shortcut. You can count them in groups. This is 3, and that's 6, and then we have 2 more, right? So that's a total of 8 powers of 10, so this is 10 to the 8 is what we're saying. Log of 10, well, think about what that's really saying, right? We assume the base is 10. 10 to what power gives us 10? The answer is 1. 10 is the first power of 10. Log of 1, well, log base anything of 1 is going to be the same answer. Log base 10 of 1 is saying 10 to what power gives us 1? 10 to the 0 power is 1. Let's look at some, but now in decimal format. So thinking about this like it's scientific notation, what power of 10 are these, right? And you can tell by how many you would need to move the decimal place over. Since I have two decimal places, that would be 10 to the negative 2 power is 0 0.01. If we think about 10 to what power gives us 0 0.0001, we can count the decimal places. Or think about for scientific notation, how many would I need to move the decimal place over to get a number between 1 and 10? The answer is 4 places, either way you think of it, and it's 10 to the negative 4 for this one. This is 10 to what power gives us 0.1. You can read this as 1 tenth, in other words, 1 over 10. So this is the negative 1 power, or you can count the decimal places either way. For this one here, counting the decimal places would give us that this is the negative third power, or if you use that scientific notation idea of how many would we have to move it over to get a number between 1 and 10, then we would have to move it over three places to the right. Log of 10 to the negative 7, this one is actually so easy it might look difficult to you. So think about this is saying log base 10 of 10 to the negative 7. What power of 10 is 10 to the negative 7? If we asked you what color the red car was, you would tell us red, right? So what power of 10 is 10 to the negative 7? Well, just the negative 7 power, right? Whatever's written there. So here think about log of 10 to the 13. What power of 10 is 10 to the 13? Well, it's the 13th power of 10, of course, right? What color is the brown fence? It's brown. So what power of 10 is 10 to the 13? The 13th power. All right, looking at some natural logs, remember this is log base e. So this is really saying what power of e is this number here? And just like what color is the blue car, what power of e is this? Well, it's the fifth power. You can see just by looking at it, of course. This one a little bit more complicated, right? We need to know what power a square root is. ln of square root e is asking us what power of e is square root of e? And the answer is the square root of e is the one half power of e. Here, ln of e, what power of e is e itself? Well, anything to the 1 power is going to be itself, right? ln of 1 is saying log base e of 1. What power of e gives us 1? Well, we should know with logarithms and having 1 in the logarithm, anything to the 0 power is going to give us 1, right? Whether it's base e or not. Okay, hopefully this practice with evaluating common bases, base 10 and base e for logarithms helped you out. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you in the next video.